Good morning, everyone. It is Lori, and I'm here to do your uplifting reading all about you. Let's go ahead and get right into this message. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates and that you come back in the future. If you are a returning viewer, you know I love you guys to pieces. Either way, I appreciate each and every single one of you for being here. All right. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And everyone is always welcome here. All right, let's see what is truly magical about you. Wow, getting the Holy Grail on the opening card. Ace of Cups. Wow, you are abundant. You have, you at least feel that you have everything that you could dream of in this world. You have your health, you have money, you have good relationships, um, you have more than what you need, you have earthly goods, you have the finer things in life, you have everything that you desire. Now, some of you are still working towards having everything, okay, but you have this attitude, this new, some of you, it's a brand new attitude of abundance, okay, I'm absolutely loving this about you guys. You're focusing on the law of attraction. What you focus on is what you get. It expands and goes out into the universe. And when you say, this is what I want, and you believe that you deserve it, it comes to you almost immediately. And for a lot of you, you are experiencing this at this time. You are feeling physically better than you have felt in a long time. You are feeling mentally clearer, happier, more calm. Oh my gosh, you are feeling so much better. You're looking around at your life and you're saying, you know what, I have a lot of blessings. I have a roof over my head. I have a great car. I have nice clothes. I have good friends or good family or good whatever, co-workers, okay? I have a good job. You're actually waking up to the fact that you have more than maybe you've been focusing on for a while, but you're also bringing in bigger and better to you. Every single time you accomplish one manifestation through your positive energy, it just want, creates this energy within you to want to create more and manifest more. You understand exactly how it works. You're, you're still... Some of you are still playing around with this, you know, testing the waters, trying to figure out exactly how to set your intentions, how to build your belief, you know, so on and so forth. But that's wonderful. This is really, really wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Oh, my gosh. I see whoever we're focusing on right here, and I hope it's every single one of my Libras out there or cross watchers or channel fans. I don't care who you are. I hope you're getting in this mindset because I do see the capability here on your part to manifest the life of your dreams, happiness, whatever, whatever that means for you, you can manifest this. You're already starting. You're already in the beginning phases if you're not further along. All right. What have you accomplished that you should be proud of? Look at this. Rising above a very negative um, situation here the phoenix, the judgment card. You let the past be the past. Whatever happened in the past, you transformed it. You let it go. You released it. You've risen from the ashes. And that's why I think you found the law of abundance or law of attraction so appealing, okay? Because you were down and out. You might have hit rock bottom here. You might have had horrible relationships. Whatever it was in the past, you've released it and you have risen way above that energy and are doing and creating beautiful things at this point. That's a major accomplishment. Some people get down in the dumps, down, you know, hit rock bottom, and they never can bounce back up. You not only bounced back up, you may have clawed your way back up to a certain point until you found this law of attraction and this belief in your higher power and the belief that you do deserve everything that you wish for, okay? We have to clarify, you found this, okay? You did this. You accomplished this. Okay. We're going to leave that there. 
What kind of impact do you have on the people around you? You've got the mime, the page of wands. What I'm seeing here is that people consider you to be fun. You're sure-footed. You, you take um, calculated risks. You joke at your own expense. You're not afraid to look at your follies and say, yep, I tried that. Nope, that didn't work so well for me, but I'm going to keep on going. Okay, got a very transformative energy. I see with this rock that people really think of you as reliable now, some somebody that they can trust. I am also hearing that you are very focused. You've got, you know, you're very focused on this law of attraction, but you've got another personal focus. I'm getting strongly here that this could be animal um, rehabilitation, global, something to do with global saving of the animals, international. I'm almost getting the name of a business, but I'm, I'm spirit saying don't focus on that. It, it, this can fit so many of you in so many different ways. So, okay. So that's a great thing. You are um, healing the earth, I'm hearing, through tending to and caring for animals, the environment, mostly the animals though, okay? It could be geological studies too, but really I'm getting it's all about the um, fauna, okay? The animals of the wor world, insects, birds, butterflies, goats, rams, cows, Whatever the animals are out there, it, this is like on a, um, you're doing your part to protect these animals, to help preserve them, to learn more about them, to see their impact on the world. So you may be educating people about the importance of, say, um, planting a butterfly garden in their yard so that the bird or the butterflies and birds that use those plants can migrate and they can populate the plants that we need to eat. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful impact. Really good. I, I love this energy of you can laugh at yourself. That you don't take life too seriously. All right. So what is a talent or skill that you have that we should recognize? Whoa. Wow. That's a major talent. You are the tender of Mother Earth. You are simpatico with that energy this is the empress gaia gaia is the world <laughs> the empress embodies everything about living okay giving receiving abundance understanding um tending to even the smallest minutest little thing wow i mean come on Spirit is really wanting to acknowledge you for and say thank you, thank you, thank you, because what you're doing here helps everybody, not just yourself, not just these animals. It, it's like the chain of life. What do they call that? The food chain almost, but it's, it's more than that. It's the chain of life. It's the cycle of life, cycle of life. I just heard The Lion King. I, I love the music from The Lion King movie, the original the original. In fact, I have the CD somewhere. And I love to belt out those. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Won't go any further with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you are, you embody this beautiful energy of the Empress energy here. Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, happiness, taking care of everything. I mean, beautiful energy here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm also seeing the plant aspect here too. Some some of you, again, even though you're focusing on the animals, there is that element of um, focusing on the flora as well as the fauna. So it's complete. So don't think that um, Spirit's ignoring those of you who talk about the plants that need to be saved. The natural medicines, okay? Instead of man-made jet fuel prescriptions, we get holistic, natural healing again because of the plants that you are focusing on. Also, like I said, pollination. Beautiful energy here. All right, what do you do right now that you should never stop doing? The Ace of Pentacles. 
building a solid foundation on what on what's happening okay looking after mother earth look at this look at this i mean rock solid here rock solid here you've got all this greenery and when you have greenery like this where it's diverse the fl the fauna that's in there the insects the bees the worms the centipedes everything is there doing its part to help nourish the earth. This is about seeing things from a new perspective, but having that solid foundation, knowing what is and why it is, so that we can get people to continue to take care of those things. Beautiful message here. Look at this. You are the sunshine. You are... I don't know why I keep breaking out in song today. Maybe I need to go watch a musical or something. But anyways, look at this, the sun card here, the birds, the birds. But look at how this is encompassing all aspects, the flowers and the fauna. Everything's connected, okay? Yes, there is a little bit of regret for those species that have been lost, but you are the sun. You bring things back into being. Oh, don't bring back the Jurassic Park dinosaurs. We do not need any raptosauruses or whatever the heck those things are called. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, we don't need those. But if you find an insect or something inside of the amber, okay, the stone, the amber, yeah, cool. Check it out. Just don't bring back dinosaurs, please. Don't think we want to compete with dinosaurs. But you have a beautiful effect here beautiful effect opening up people's eyes awareness healing the sun has just got beautiful energy to it okay makes things grow heals without the sun none of us would be in existence okay i'm hearing uncovering revealing bringing joy bliss happiness bringing things back into being this is a really cool reading. Really cool. If this is you, drop a comment. If you want to honor this person, please tickle, tap, or boop that like button. Look at this. I mean, this is just crazy. You got two aces. You got the Holy Grail to start with, and then you got the Empress energy right below that. That is incredible. Then you got the Phoenix and the Sun. Okay, so you've got three major arcana. I always consider aces to be pretty close to major arcanas. And then look at how humble your energy is here. You're not seeking attention or anything else. You don't care if your name's written in books. You're doing this because this is who you are. You do what you do because of who you are. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get you a spirit animal oracle message here. We're going to try to keep this message around 20 minutes or less. Don't forget to um, drop a comment if this is you. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this message. And uh, check out the description box for more information about the channel, the cards, um, personal readings, whatever. Okay, you have card 65, Whale Spirit. Trust the Great Mystery. 65 is an 11. And then you have Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. Okay, trust the Great Mystery and life is a mystery. Then we have Snake Spirit. Time to heal. You guys just got that yesterday. And then you've got, oh my gosh, Stag Spirit. Uh, take the lead. You just got that the other day. I don't know if it was yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday with the Snake Spirit. All right. So we have 8 and 58, okay, so two 8s there. We've got 5, 5, 5, 5, 65 and 55 here. So 11 would, would be two 1s and then 5, 5. Um, trusting your heart, okay, listening to your heart. That's you because that's what you do. Fives talk about change, okay? Something new is coming in here for you. And life is a mystery, all right? <laughs> Big mystery. And then, of course, eights talk about balance. Everything is falling into place in divine timing, just as it's meant to happen. All right, let's go ahead and see what, quickly, what um, Bobcat Spirit has for you. All 
All right, this is about you connecting spiritually. All right. The bobcat moves furtively and mysteriously. And when bobcat spirit appears to you in a reading, she brings a powerful reminder that not everything in life can be explained or understood with our minds. Trying to figure things out, finding, try, seeking logical explanations, or trying to predict what will happen based on reason and facts may not always provide you with a certainty and the comfort that you are seeking. Bobcat Spirit asks you to turn or trust in the great mystery. Okay, trust the great mystery. Even though they we're reading this, it says it here. And let the secrets of the universe reveal themselves to you through your experiences. Allow your vision um, so that, to slip into soft focus so that you will be able to see between the lines and observe what has been hidden there. It's right there in front of you but you have not been able to see it until now. Bobcat Spirit helps you to understand intimately the pulse of the divine in the world. Trust in the wisdom and revelations that come to you, yet please know that understanding may not come as you would like it to. It may still be a little confusing. What you experience through your heart and your intuition, which comes to you as, the, as your inner um, your higher power, it will guide you now as you accept that there is secrecy woven into the very fabric of existence. No matter what, the appearance of Bobcat Spirit is a sign that you are being called to trust in the divine, in yourself, in what you are experiencing. Even when what you are seeing and feeling and hearing may not agree with your need for logical explanation, okay? So let's see what 65 quickly. Oops. Certainty is not offered to you at this time. You are being asked to trust the process of co-creation. Whale spirit reminds you that your primary reality is not that of the material world, but that of the realm of spirit, from which the very essence of your dreams and your desires take shape before they come to you. You need to trust absolutely that what will come will be for your highest good and that it will come to you. Stay in your pro present moment awareness, which means to enjoy your every day as you're having it. And allow the hidden realm to hold your intentions safely until it is time for them to manifest in the real world. Let go, for you will not be left behind. Some things just take a little longer than others to arrive. All right. So... Since we got both of these just recently, Spirit just wants to say, let go of any past um, things which you're working on with this judgment card here. There is a chance. Okay, Spirit does say, go ahead and read it. Snake Spirit says, no matter how much you may have lost or how you have been disappointed in life, you are being called by Snake Spirit at this time to shed the past and to practice self, radical self-acceptance at this time. Only by forgiving yourself can you move on, regardless of whether anyone else is ready for healing or not. You are. When your tender new skin first becomes exposed, you may feel uncomfortable. Love yourself anyways and remain vulnerable. You may have been weak in the past, but now you are becoming strong. You are developing wisdom, and you will do better in the future. Do not beat yourself up over any past experience. It's a way for you to learn. Snake Spirit reminds you that hearts can be so easily wounded, our own and others. And apologies can go a long way to healing Self-forgiveness for your part in what may have happened can help you heal. Remember, it is the one who has been wounded the most often that has the greatest power to help others heal. Beautiful. 
All right, and I'm hearing here, spirit saying, read, take the lead, even though it's clear that what's happening here is you may need to be the first one to make that motion. All right, others may not be as far along, uh, as far along as you are on your journey in life. When stag spirit appears in the protection position, you are being called to be compassionate and patient as you find yourself leading. When others struggle to follow you, it's their own uncertainty, okay? They just need time to get to know you, to to see that you are somebody to be trusted, okay? So you are doing this. People find you to be stable, reliable, somebody who can laugh at themselves and not take life too seriously, but sees the importance of life, okay? All life. All right, so maybe um, right here, let go of your fears and let Stag Spirit remind you that you have what it takes to lead wisely and ethically if you practice self-honesty and also listen to others who wish to support you. Okay, so it's a team effort. Beautiful. And it is about healing something between you and someone else. And there was a big part of that in today's daily message which i've called enough to invest or something along those lines if you're interested in seeing that all right let's get you <clears throat> your talisman oracle message we're at 21 minutes it said two one three four on my timer i'm going to get you this we're going to roll you three yes or no uh answers and then we will close this reading out All right, good luck. And nope, Spirit says nope, that was not the right one. Shuffle. Passion. Passion and good luck. Okay, so. Good luck says, luck is with you and with everything that you touch right now. Life is a very... <laughs> Life is a very positive card. Yep, there's a there's a message in there for somebody. This is a very positive card that indicates growth and increased potential. The currents are in your favor. And if you act upon your wishes, you will benefit greatly. It's up to you, though, to channel this good fortune. The circles on this card form the number eight. Eight is an auspicious number and a symbol of new beginnings. Fate will take a strong hand and redirect your path in a very positive way. What you do after this is up to you. All right, you can use this positive affirmation of, I attract good luck. I don't know why, but every time I see this card out of the corner of my eye, I see Jason's uh, hockey, hockey mask from Halloween or Michael's, whoever it was. Let me know if you see that there too. Don't don't get it in your head though. <laughs> it's hard to unsee things that we see. All right, if you noticed it, you noticed it. We're going to just go like that. Passion. Passion. Let's see what the passion is all about. It says, allow your passion to rise up. Sometimes we try to keep our desi desires at bay to fit the social expectations and uh, normal way of doing things. But we can use this powerful force to thrive in a personal or professional manner. Our desires is what creates our, our wanting to do anything in life. Do not hold your desires back unless you are worried that they will become an addiction and an obsession. Okay, our passion for life is huge because it comes from a place of love. This feeling is the ultimate and most powerful energy that we can put out into the universe. Be passionate about what you do and about what you believe. Do not carry out decisions, however, based on fear, worry, guilt, or shame. Get rid of those words from your vocabulary. Because those negative states of mind can only bring the same type of negative feelings back to you. Choose the best version of yourself and project that passion out into the universe. Okay? Your positive mantra with this is, love is powerful and I am love. 
Okay, and that's love with a capital L. Let's get you three yes or no answers here. One through five is a yes, yeah, or a no. Six through 12 is a yes. If you do not understand this, I do have a short video on my channel that explains this for you. Answer number one is a 12. That is a yes, 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 yes. You're headed in the right direction. Keep going. And you do come into alignment on something in the near future. Answer number two, yes or no, is a yes. And we have six, and then we have five and one, which is also a six. Um, it's time for you to trust your spiritual uh, connection, though, okay? This is, this is more than just trusting your heart. This is really getting in alignment with your higher power. Make sure you're, you are really being honest with yourself. All right, answer number three, yes or no. That's a seven, and that's a yes, and it's heading in the right direction again. There is stability here, too. There will be stability. Okay. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, Crosswatchers, Channel fans, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.